Hi, my name is Kevin Oliveira. I'm the Senior Product Marketing Manager for Data Security Solutions at Forcepoint. And today I have with me um, Jeff Hall. Jeff, could you maybe introduce yourself? Yeah, Jeff Hall, a uh, Principal uh, Sales Engineer here at Forcepoint as well. Great. Thanks, Jeff. And we're going to be showing you how developers within your organization can safely use ChatGPT leveraging Forcepoint data security solutions. So uh, first, Jeff, you're going to go ahead and show a, a, an example of how a developer could, in a positive way, make use of ChatGPT. Yeah. yeah. So one of the things that you do is you've got, an, you got a, uh, a task you want to accomplish, some piece of code you want to write. So, for example... One other, one other quick thing, Jeff, you're in the yeah. playground environment. Maybe you can describe that really quickly. Yeah, so a little bit different than the normal. Yeah, chat. so yeah, so normally, normally the uh, people would normally see this interface here with uh, ChatGPT, where you've got your three, five, and four, and version four um, on the back end. But with the with the playground, I still have it's still the same ability with the three, five, but it also gives you the ability to load different modes of how you want to utilize um, utilize ChatGPT. So if you want to do some internal development with the AI engine, you can do that as well here. But for this this case right now, I'm just simply using the playground. It's effectively the same same process. They're using the same backend information. Right. Great. Okay, so you put in the uh, request. Yeah, so I put in a natural natural language request. Right, I want to write some Python code to upload incident information, you know, from the Forcepoint DLP to ServiceNow using our RESTful API. And right. how that would go once you submit that information. ChatGPT is going to go look at different ways of doing it, you know, recognizing that there are APIs for both ServiceNow and uh, Forcepoint DLP, and kind of give you some basic information on what to do as far as you know logins, uh, information like that. Okay. Is so there anything it, anything helpful? Yeah, so I mean, it gives me some idea on like the ServiceNow URLs, the uh, the API information for you know, for Forcepoint. But what I can do from this is I would normally uh, take this, copy this code, and put it into you know, my whatever editor I'm using for Python, and then build that code out. Now, let's the fast forward in the future. What I've done now is I've now customized this code um, that's very specific to our internal environment. So it effectively becomes, um, you know, uh, IP uh, around that. So it's now very customized for us, and I don't want that to be to leak out. So once right. I've done this and I've created it, so what you can see, I've already had this ability to come in and say, here, give me some uh, example code of what I want to build. Um, but if I was to take this and say, well, okay, now I want to take my code and um, optimize it, right? So I want to come in, I can come in here and copy it. And now remember that this is now code is owned by my company. It's not, should right. be go, going it's out. It's IP and, now. Yeah, it's IP now. Yeah. So now I can take this exact same code. So I come in, I copy, yeah, copy my data and I can now put it into, into, you know, um, chat GPT so you can see all that that matches what's on there mm -hmm. and I want to optimize which would be comments people would what they'll that that people mistakenly would do is they take some IP code that they've um, take code that they've, they've written and I'm going to drop it in and say <clears throat> optimize this code clean this code change yeah. it from one one version to the next and right. when I go to submit this I now get an error and I get a warning from force point saying, you know, you violated the corporate policy on that. So what they've effectively done is I've allowed the developer to go out and search research and then get ideas and you know, different ways of, you know, of code, how the code should be written. But I've also protected you from taking that code that's been written and saved in house and fingerprinted. Um, you know, we're looking for specific keywords within the code, looking for, um, you know, Python classifiers, uh, C++ classifiers, Java classifiers, things like that as a part of the policy that was written. They have now blocked that and stopped that from ex being exfiltrated or being Great, sent so that, out. The yeah. policy, things it's covering, it's covering keywords, it's covering specific languages, and then it's also covering uh, fingerprinted IP. Fingerprinted IP code itself, right. Right. Okay, great. Well, good. That's yeah, it's very simple as far as how, how we're able to protect using uh, Forcepoint data security. Thanks. Um, and uh, for more information on this, please check out our uh, playlist on ChatGPT. The playlist is called um, Safely um, Using AI Tools with Forcepoint Data Security. You can find that on YouTube in our Forcepoint Tech Talk channel. Thanks. Thanks.